sometimes when you work with an artist, it's just for one album or one song or a group of songs. And then other times you work with an artist over a, a longer period of time. You know, a good example for me is the work that I did with Taylor Swift. I worked on the first album, second album, the third album. I did half of the fourth album and had one track on the fifth album. There was a lot of growth, a lot of evolution for her and for me. And, you know, we came up together. So I was learning and growing and she was learning and growing. And, and there was a lot of time where we were really in sync. And then, you know, inevitably, someone's going to grow away from where the other person's growing. And that's a good thing. That's what you want out of creativity. You don't want to have, you know, two people have to parallel each other the entire time. And so I think there was a quote from the Tom Petty documentary where one of the guys in there said, if you work with a producer for more than three albums, you ought to just kill him or something like that. But it basically said that there needs to be, you know, an ending point to a creative relationship. It's just healthy. It's healthy for everybody. And in, if you haven't hit that ending point yet, it'll keep you on your toes. It'll keep you working hard. It'll keep you focused on what you're doing and you won't get lazy just thinking, well, you know, I'm going to make records with this person forever so I can just kind of do whatever.